get your bills and promise not to disappear. I got a list. One, never give up on you or me or us. Two, you got to be patient with me like I'm patient with you. I don't like to be... Playoff basketball here on 2K Sports. Game two, we're bringing it to you live. And along with Grant Hill and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Ali LaForce, our reporter. Now the starting group for the visitors. They've got Miller, and it's Slim in at the three. And for the Pacers, you look at the Pacers. Clutch. Here's Slim. Out to the right wing. The prodigy passes to Money. Clock at six. Here's Miller. Count that one. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. And here's Halliburton. He'll bring it up for Indiana. About a minute played here so far in the first. Five on the clock. Three-pointer. That one doesn't drop. He's got a great defensive mind. He gets good position and affects the release. And he did it without fouling, and that's become an art. Changing shots without making contact. Money. Here's Captain Clutch. From deep, a long distance three is Perry. Here's Halliburton. It's a five point game. Here's O'Neal. Here's the steal. And they're on the break. Pulls up for three. Money misses. Here in the first quarter, with about two minutes gone by. Halliburton for three. Knocks down the triple. A remarkable three-point shooter out of the gates in his NBA career. Tyrese Halliburton, let him hear you. They set the pick. Money, pass to the prodigy. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. Here's Smith. Here's Miller. Blocked! Shoots over Halliburton, and he drains the quick shot. Miller's got his second bucket on the night. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. Here's Miller. Halliburton surveys the floor. Pass to Granger. Launches it. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Well, this is a shot he hits with regularity. Defense trying to close, just not good enough. Here's Money, defended by Halliburton. Here's Slip. Knocked loose. Six to shoot. From the arc. That one goes. Now he 
he's one for two. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Now here's Halliburton. Here's O'Neal. Miller, the pass to Granger. Here's O'Neal. Pass to Slim. The three is up. Miller pulls it in. Indiana trailing here. Three-pointer, Halliburton. Miller pulls it in. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Here's Slim. No good from outside. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. Halliburton, the pass to Miller. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. This is why coaches love Tyrese Halliburton. Just plays the right way. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. Pass to Slim. Launches the three. He hits that one. Two for five now. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Halliburton, the pass to O'Neal. Four seconds left, and he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. A pretty pass from Tyrese Halliburton. You bought this guy. Oh, it goes! He got it off in time! Oh, just in the nick of time. Half the basket! Oh, what a miraculous shot. He's going to remember that one. Listen, under duress of the end of the period, you just throw it up and hope. Well, offense is the order of the day as the first quarter comes to a close. Leading by seven. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. Welcome back to the Eastern Conference Finals presented by 2K Sports. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Hornets. Yeah, their early focus on outside scoring has paid off. They're finding plenty of points from three-point land. Yeah, what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. Indiana has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. On the court for the Hornets. They've got Miller, and it's Captain Clutch in at the shooting guard position. Let's it go from the wing. Another one falls for Indiana. Terrific placement on the bounce pass, right where it needed to be. Money, pass to Miller. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. Shooting for the other team. Miller, taking two shots. And he makes a first. The Pacers making a switch here. O'Neal's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. It's tipped. Here's Miller, defended by Jackson. To the inside, Siakam. And then Siakam with the jam. A six foot nine with excellent elevation. No trouble at the cup for Siakam. Slim hits the trifecta. 
Slams, got 12 points. And for so many teams in the NBA, establishing the three-point shot is goal number one on offense. He's definitely doing his part tonight. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. Here's Granger. He's got five. Six on the shot clock. Here's Daniels. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. The prodigy passes to Slim. Here's Captain Clutch. He's covered by Siakam. He buries him from three. He's got six. All five of the last buckets they've given up have been from downtown. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Miller's checked in for Indiana. And during the postseason, let's see who's been working the hardest on the glass. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter. Pass to Daniels. Shot clock at six. The Pacers again can't hit. Absolutely tenacious, guys. Stuck right on him defensively. Bothered that shot. They set the screen. Slim, the pass to the prodigy. Here's money. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. You know that block has him and his teammates all pumped up. That is what playoff basketball is all about. Pass to Slim. Here's the Prodigy. Nails it from three. The Prodigy's got five. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Here's Miller. Back to O'Neal. Jackson outside. Clock at six. Here's Granger. Ooh, he can't stop the run as that misses. The prodigy passes to Money. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. Pushing it up now. Blocked! Now for those joining us now, we're in the second quarter, about three minutes gone by. To the left wing, Lloyd. Second chance effort. Ooh, nice shot by Miller. Miller's got four points in the quarter. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. Time called here. The Pacers decide to talk it over. Siakam, he's checked in for Indiana. Halliburton comes in for Jackson. All right, fans. We've got 155 left in the half. Now here's Halliburton. Tightly guarded. Pass to O'Neal. With the fadeaway. Down it goes. And a great assist by Halliburton. Halliburton's got his fourth assist in this one. Here's Money. He's scoreless. Driving inside. Here's Miller. Shot on the wing. O'Neal pulls it in. And it didn't fall, but still a great look. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Now here's Halliburton. Back to Daniels. Pass to Miller. There's the three. Knocks down the long chain. Miller's got six. Well, brought up in an unselfish system, Pascal Siakam takes great pride keeping his teammates involved. 
Money, pass to Miller. This one for three. Money with the bucket. Money's got his first three points of the game. <laughs> this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Now here's Halliburton. Pass to Daniels. They swipe it. Here's Slim. He's covered by Siakam. Here's Slim. Rebounded by Daniels. For Indiana, they've gone 4 of 10 from the field in the second. Now here's Siakam. There's a screen. Here's Daniels. Siakam with it. Just 5 to shoot. Fires from deep. Miller pulls it in. Miller's got five rebounds in the game. Puts up a three. How about the defense of Pascal Siakam? This guy likes making it tough on the offensive player. And so it's Hartford. A sizable lead of 14 at the break. Building this lead up in large part because of how well they're shooting it. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. Hello and welcome everybody. Coming into halftime of game two, there's an air of confidence. I mean, they've been raining threes. Whether the shot's open or contested, it's their game. You have to admire their confidence on their side of the ball, man. Can we just come to an agreement, the three of us? No more singing! Looking at this series for the Indiana Pacers, they're trying to even the series at one apiece. Kenny, how critical is this win for him? You might say it's still early, but you don't want to drop two in a row on your home court now. I agree. They've already lost home court advantage. I don't want to dig that hole any deeper. And that would be deep, just like your analysis is from time to time, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Now it's time to head back over to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. Back to the action as game two is getting underway. Indiana's gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Halliburton outside. Oh, they get a hand on it. And for the Hornets, they've got Miller, and it's Captain Clutch in at the two guard. In transition, here come the Pacers. Pass to Slim. From deep three-point range. Rebounded by Halliburton. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Against good defense, he finds just enough room to operate. Money. Pass to Miller. Here's Money. Beyond the arc. Oh, my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. At the line for three. Good on the second one. And he makes all three. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Halliburton outside. And it's Halliburton! Gets it to go inside! 
Uh, you love to see guys willing to exploit the mid-range. If that's what the defender concedes, go ahead and take it. To the right side. Money. Pass to Miller. Yep, that one goes. Miller's got 10. And here's Halliburton. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. 15-point game. O'Neal on the wing. Hook loose. Let's it fly from 18. He's off on that one. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Pass to Miller. Here's Slim. On the take. From the left block. And it's Smith with a rebound. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. For Hartford, they've gone just one of three in the second half. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Pass to the prodigy. Shot clock at five. Tipped. Here's Smith. No points yet. Oh, yes, sir. Halliburton from deep. Halliburton, a huge part of this offense, which is why he has the confidence in these catch and shoot situations. No hesitation. Money. Pass to Captain Clutch. 4 3. And it's Smith with a rebound. Smith has got four rebounds now. Pass to Halliburton. 151 left in the third quarter. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. Hartford has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Here's Captain Clutch. Here's the prodigy. Five points in the game. Pass to Slim. Here's the three. Drills it from deep. Slam's got 15. You can see why they go to this guy so often. More often than not, he's going to be very efficient like he is right here. Halliburton, the pass to O'Neal. Outside for Halliburton. And again, it's Indiana with a three. They've struggled, but hey, you cannot lay it at his feet. Offensively, he's getting it done. Pass to Slim. There's the triple. Connects again from distance. And he's letting it fly from long range to devastating effect. And has now tied the franchise record for triples in a playoff game. Here's O'Neal. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. Here's Money, defended by Halliburton. Down low. Here's the prodigy, and he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Look at the power on that. He has to be one of the top dunkers in the game today. Six seconds separating the shot and game clock. Here's Granger. Five points in the game. First personal foul. First team foul. Substitution for your pieces. Pascal Siakam. Mel Daniels. Halliburton Mark outside. Jackson. Pass to Siakam. Now Jackson launches it from deep. It's good! It Did counts it at the buzzer! Buzzer beater! Wow! Oh, what a miraculous shot. He's going to remember that one. Listen, under duress of the end of the period, you just throw it up and hope. And so it's Hartford going into the break up 12. They're showing impressive focus out there, and it's paying off big on both ends of the floor. We'll be back in a moment. now to bring you our State Farm Assist of the Game. 
He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. Well, this is why great point guard play is so critical in today's NBA, and you see it right there on display. Cinco de Mayo to all of you as we get you back to some NBA action. They've got Tyrese Halliburton. He's out there with Miller. And it's Daniels in at the three slot. That's the five for the Pacers. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Hornets. Their hot shooting from long distance has been the key. Space in the floor and rising up with that confidence. I think it's also important we mention the number of assists this group has tallied. Their offense continues to just hum along right now. The first one falls. Both good from the line that time. Here's Slim. Pass to Captain Clutch from deep three-point land. Siakam pulls down the board. And Siakam has got the ball here for Indiana. Trailing by 10. It's deflected. And he recovers it. Here's Daniels. And the deficit down inside single digits. You have to appreciate the doggedness and intensity on the glass. Wow. Over to the wing. From behind the arc. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Now here's Siakam. Pass to Daniels. Back to Siakam. Here's Daniels. Now Halliburton. Four on the clock. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Here's Slim. And he's going for the lob! Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. A good look from Siakam. Oh, he finds himself wide open and drills it. Well, you love the confidence from Pascal Siakam. Ready on the catch, rise and fire. Nicely done. Pass to Slim. The three. Good. Another from three. And talk about stepping up. He's having a playoff game these fans have never seen. And that last triple means he's got the most threes timeout, in a timeout. single playoff game in franchise history. Indiana calls timeout. The Pacers making a switch here. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Hey guys, during that last break, I heard Rick Carlisle as he talked with the team. Coach telling their players, let's play with urgency. This is the game. I know we'll win if we play hard. Let's see how the team responds. Thank you for that, Allie. Defense, the visiting team. Pass to O'Neal. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And he just powered through contact trying to complete the play. First free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line.
Here's money. A touch under two and a half minutes of pass now here in the fourth. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It's going to be on Tyrese Halliburton. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. For Indiana, they've gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Pass to O'Neal. Ooh, ripped away! Here's Money, defended by Halliburton. And the ball out of play. The Pacers will have it. Inside. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth. Pass to Slim. The three ball. It's rebounded by Indiana. And that's how you have to defend him out there on the three-point line. Played him perfectly. To the paint. Here's O'Neal. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. Halliburton's got assist number seven tonight. It's stolen. The deep three. Money grabs the miss. The Hornets have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Slam with a bucket. There's a touch of artistry to the floater. Takes feel as much as skill. Halliburton outside. There's a screen. Fires the three. The rebound by the prodigy. The Prodigy's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Oh, deflected. And there aren't many feelings like this in sports. Knowing you've earned a trip to the NBA Finals, a special moment for the Hornets. Man, they were in a groove from long range tonight. Yeah, they were able to find space, and they were ready to let it fly the moment they saw an opening. And what a huge performance it was for Slim. So impressed with this performance today. He was confident, he was composed, and the defense just didn't know how to adjust. The intellect and skill that Halliburton brings to the game, such a high-level passer. Open your eyes. To the middle. Here's Miller. The Pacers pull it in. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Unfortunately for them, they're still going to come up short. You wish they'd shown this kind of fight earlier. No doubt. It felt like they were a little tight for much of the evening. Now they're in a better flow, but it may be too little too late. Here's Slim. After the basket by Indiana. To the inside. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. And they knew it wasn't going to be easy to win on the road, but they've controlled the pace on this one. And sometimes when everyone's rooting against you, it seems to bring the unit closer together. It certainly did tonight. And that's going to do it for this series. They'll move on. These guys have played so hard, endured so much, and you can just see how absolutely excited they are to be headed to the finals. And it's been exciting for us to watch their progress throughout the season, Grant. And now they're so close, B.A., to completing their mission, it's easy to look ahead. But winning the East is such a major accomplishment in and of itself. We hope they'll take the time to cherish this moment. It doesn't come around every year. Ah, but the turnaround is quick. With the finals, they'll be here before they know it. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. So long, everyone.
she don't me neither. I ain't had a girl like this before. What do I feed her? Loyalty vacations. Tell him that's my girl and just ignore the temptations. Five star sweet and it came with a butler. She don't ask for but she keep begging me. Ooh, this my favorite part. I got that on lock and I'm the only one that knows exactly what the combinations are. Flick it, flick it, flick it, flick it, flick it, flick it, flick it. She telling me I'm such a show off. She told me.